Andrew Tate. How a narcissist fucks up. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. One of the most important aspects of understanding the narcissist and narcissism is getting your head around the concept that the narcissist operates in the now, in this moment, and now this moment. Yesterday is irrelevant, save to the extent that yesterday can be used in relation to now. Tomorrow is irrelevant, unless tomorrow can be used in relation to now. So the past is used by bringing up the past, and the future is used by way of promised gain, threat and loss, or future faking. But the narcissism, if you will, is blinkered. It is focused on the now. And in this particular moment, if there are other people that the narcissist is involved with, if there is the contemplation of interaction with other people, the first question that arises in the subconscious is, is this person or are those people under control? Yes or no? And if they're not, or there's no information to confirm that they are, then control must be obtained. Questions then arise in relation to the potential for gaining fuel, character traits and residual benefits. But the narcissism is focused on the now. What this means is that the narcissist will engage in certain behaviours which will then be inconsistent with what has gone before and will potentially cause problems in the future for them. So take, for example, a middle lesser narcissist who has repeatedly, as a consequence of his sense of entitlement and lack of accountability and absence of emotional empathy, turned up repeatedly late for work. On the fourth time that it occurs in that week, his manager says to him, you've repeatedly turned up for work late, this is unacceptable, there will now be a disciplinary process. He has given fuel to the narcissist, but he has also challenged him by telling him that he has done something wrong and therefore is seeking to make him accountable for that wrongdoing through the disciplinary process. This is a threat to control. The narcissism declares red alert, incoming threat to control, and, for this middle lesser narcissist, causes him to respond in that moment instinctively by punching the manager in the face. This puts the manager on his backside. Control has been obtained. The narcissism has done its job in that moment. However, the manager, having been assaulted, scrambles to his feet and declares, you're fired. That is the collateral consequence and demonstrates how that narcissist has fucked up. A middle-middle range type A narcissist, somatic in nature and reasonably well off, needs to assert control over a group of people that he's enjoying a night out with. As a consequence, he exhibits financial largesse, a benign manipulation where he spends a lot of money paying for everybody's dinner and drinks to the extent that he incurs a substantial debt on his credit card. This, in the moment, allows him to assert control over those people. They are grateful for him buying dinner and drinks. They praise him, hug him, say thank you. All of this shows that they are under control and provide him with lots of fuel. However, the next day, his wife learns of how much he spent, which is an excessive amount, which causes her not only to be displeased, but then causes strain on the family finances, because his credit card is maxed out with this particular debt. Accordingly, he's fucked up. Whilst he gained control in the moment of the people that he was dining out with, it then impacts on the control over his wife, and of course has an adverse impact upon finances. And it is this instance of collateral consequences that you will find happening again and again and again in relation to lesser and mid-range narcissists. Greater narcissists in the ultra, as a consequence of awareness, 
forward thinking and planning don't experience these collateral consequences in the same way because they don't operate by instinct. Whilst they must still achieve things in the moment, whilst doing those things in the moment, greater narcissists than the ultra must have due regard for what's coming next also. Thus, they don't fuck up in the same way. But the form of narcissism of the lesser and the mid-range narcissists means that they will repeatedly engage in behaviours which achieves the prime aims in the moment, but then leads to problems thereafter. And Andrew Tate finds himself in this regard. Let's have a look at a little bit of footage of him as he engages in his useful, usual boasting and belligerent manner. Here it comes. These are people which have been conditioned to slavery. They're never as successful as I. They never have what I have. They never have the pizzazz I have. They just, a lot of them may think they have. Well, I'm free too. You're not. You're fucking, you're paying your taxes. You're not free for shit. You're a dork. So these people, these mask wearers, have a slave's mindset. There we see Tate driving along, showing off again about how important he actually is, telling us what a brilliant individual he is. As he drives along, he explains that people have been conditioned to slavery. They're not as successful as him. They never have what he has got. They don't have the same pizzazz. Many of them think that they're free, but they're not. Why? Because they're paying their taxes, which means that they're a dork, that they have a slave's mindset. So essentially, he's saying, if you pay your taxes, you are a slave and you are a dork. I'm successful. I don't pay tax. Thus, in that moment to assert control over his audience, what he's doing is boasting about his supposed brilliance at not paying tax, that he is the master, not the slave. But what does that then do? It creates evidence of a failure to pay his tax obligations, which then results in him finding himself accused of evading tax on £21 million in relation to online businesses, as I mentioned yesterday. Once again, this is a demonstration of how the narcissist fucks up, that the narcissism focused in the moment causes the narcissist to behave in a particular way, which is effective, but then leads to a collateral consequence thereafter, namely creating evidence of an admission of not paying taxes which could potentially be used against him in relation to the claim that has been brought by Devon and Cornwall police as I mentioned in yesterday's video. This is why when you're dealing with lesser and mid-range narcissists you have to be around to collect the evidence that they create by way of these collateral consequence fuck-ups and they always do. It's about, it's about waiting for them to do so, and it's about being there to capture it. Because of their the function and operation of their narcissism in the moment, you will find that this will happen repeatedly, and therefore it will put you in an advantageous position, and the narcissist in a disadvantageous position, as Andrew Tate is starting to find out. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for watching.